All right, everybody, so you guys don't get me on the beach today or on a walk, it is already too late. It is pitch black. Uh, so you guys get me today in the office. Uh, not as exciting, you know, there's some AC, but guys, you do get a really exciting market update nonetheless. So let's kind of dive into what we were uh, talking about this week uh, in the newsletter. And as you can see, you know, I'm still working on my newsletter here. There's a lot going on. Uh, but one of the assets that we're talking about in uh, Encrypt Nation this week is an asset that will remain nameless for unless you're a subscriber, then you'll then you'll see it. Um, but the idea with, with this coin is that it's enabling an entire ecosystem of something called synthetic assets, synthetic assets. And these synthetic assets um, really come to bear now. There's a particularly good narrative in the market right now because of the whole, how all of these exchanges have halted some of the trading of GameStop and AMC and all these other different stocks. Well, what this protocol enables is those sorts of, uh, you know, assets to be reflected on the blockchain so that you could go on to, you know, a decentralized exchange like Uniswap or something like that. And you could trade a token uh, that is in lockstep with the price action of Tesla or Apple stock or GameStop or whatever. So the token that you're holding is appreciating in value up and down based on uh, what sort of, uh, in, you know, what sort of price action that coin is actually doing. So uh, this is a, a new narrative that's really starting to unfold and it bodes very well for this coin. Uh, that's why I'm really excited about it uh, because now that like this idea of like, again, when, when you have centralized exchanges that completely halt trading of an asset, in fact, they did it for 50 assets uh, on some of these different brokerages that were in a similar situation. Again, there was a short squeeze. You guys probably remember about this uh, short squeeze on GameStop uh, where, you know, there, there was some conflicts of interest and hedge funds basically got liquidated and the, uh, the, the little man, the little man uh, has to basically foot the bill yet again. Um, which is never good. And so so I think that there's a, a huge, there's going to be a huge rush of people and capital uh, and excitement and mainstream attention into the DeFi, the decentralized finance market again. Um, and I think that's going to be happening because we do now have like a similar sort of common united enemy, uh, you know, the, the financial media does of you know, these centralized brokerages that are basically telling people, hey, we control your assets. Don't forget that. We control what you can buy and what you can sell. And uh, I, I think that sort of uh, kind of undercurrent is really going to be driving crypto assets a lot higher as people wake up to them and start to say, hey, well, here's an open system. Here's a, a permissionless network. Here's a, a network and a, and a system of digital assets and you know, representations of real world assets and stuff that I could move and I could get price exposure to or hedge or anything like that. Um, regardless of if I have permission from anybody, right? All you need is your cryptographic private key and then you could move assets around. So anyhow, I think it's a, there's, there's a lot of really cool stuff going on. So you guys should definitely keep tabs on everything we're doing. You guys should subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you soon.